Hello, Nana here. Welcome back to Reassembly. Last episode, I mentioned about something about changing the ship design. And before I started recording, I played around a little bit with our current ship design. Because what we now have is a lot of missiles and one very puny, lonely gun turret. And also, navigation is a bit weird. In the, it, the ship has a habit of getting stuck sometimes because all the engines are in at the back and we're not the fastest ship in the world. So I did some some re-engineering and I came up with this one, the guns blazing. It has two of the largest types of cannons we have. So uh, for reference, the old ship, it... Uh, yeah, this had the, the 270 damage ship. So the old the, the previous ship had a single one of these. 270 damage per round at a range 1500. Now we got two of these. 480 damage per round at a range of 180. With some backup of two of the, the smaller ones and another one of the even smaller one. Um, and some point defenses. And some missiles to, to round it out. And the design is way more centered, I think. Because the, 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 the previous ship had a big battering ram on the front side. Which was nice and it protected against forward fire. But it also made it a bit cumbersome. So I, I changed that around a bit. So our core is here. The, there is a shell of, of crystallines around it. So those are all 3000 points each. There's another 1800 here. And these guns, they are have uh, 5500 health. So the guns themselves are part of the armor in this ship. And everywhere there are engines to give it a little bit of speed. And one of the upsides as well, because the design is a lot more centered. It, it's more round rather than weird branching. It forms really quickly. Here, have a look. See? Oof. It's already there. This one grows so quickly, which is nice. So if anything gets shot off, it's pretty fast to regrow. So you get some, some passive regeneration that way. And look at those guns. They hit something, it's gone. We have less uh, long range missiles, but we more than make up for it with just raw firepower. And our energy regeneration is almost good enough to keep up, but we can shoot for about half a minute before we run dry. Which I think is not too bad. Speed-wise, it's, it, this is still, it, it's still a lumbering giant, but that's most of these uh, ships of this faction actually have that problem. But because we're more centered, uh, we can more we can more easily turn on the spot, I think. And this, the, the, the sheer damage output of these guns is impressive. Okay, let's see, we got ourselves stuck for a little bit. Boom, that's one down. Boom, that's two down, three down, four down. Just shooting at these guys, it, it goes pretty quickly. Doing over a thousand damage for every hit. It helps, it helps a lot. I'm still not entirely sure if, if it's better to just take out the smaller guns and replace them with larger guns. So if I shoot a single volley, it just decays at different rates. And I think the... Ah, of course, these are part of point defense cannons. Large, long-range point defense cannons. And also because I got more... Um, more energy regenerators, I can store a bit more R so I can build bigger ships. 
So before I could buy off the diamond light as a maximum with 1300, I can now go all the way up to 1900. So I can actually build an angry snowflake mark two if I want to. Um, so that's a, that's a nice bonus, I suppose. That's actually, a, yeah, let's add it. It was, it was a nice ship. So let's see a mission for this episode. Uh, let's uh, take out uh, an agent fleet. All by our lonesome. Well, we can do that. I hope. I was building that diamond light just to actually put it down. But we'll see how this goes. Just a regular red fleet. Yeah, let's see. You hit them, they die. Okay, so enemies. We need to kill enemies. Uh, I'm feeling slightly surrounded here. Uh, let's uh, blast away. Okay, so I need a fleet. <laughs> That's the, the, the short summary of that one. I need myself a fleet. So. It's all nice that we got big things that we can build, but maybe just focus on things that have a lot of guns to point bridge over. So these are all spawner ships. Let's uh, build a crazy amount of pufferfish. We got one, let's uh, chase it. See if we can separate him a bit. If he's in my territory, he's more likely to die. Oh, seriously, really small ships. This is the. Oh wow, they just shot through the factory and killed my. Yeah, this, this ship, it can't surrender. <laughs> Take out the little ship there, can we? Just keep facing forward, keep shooting the enemy. We are doing decent damage. if we can just make them come through. okay so they have really high impact damage cannons so for some reason just just the turret spinning is not quite what i want it's not usually if you're getting turned into mincemeat means you need to use your weapon range a bit better In this case, I have very pretty long range turrets. They don't fire very fast, but they fire far and they do quite a lot of damage. 
So I should not get into point blank range with them, because then I'm playing to their advantage. Also, these guys got shields, so they can actually take quite some punishment. Let's see if we assign the turrets to auto fire. Just to, just to see if that makes a difference. Let me keep the, the missile launchers on. Let's put everything on auto fire. Just to see if it's if it's my piloting skills or if my, my lack of shooting skills. Start shooting. All I need to do is get in range. to make helper ships, that's useful. Okay, let's have a look. Let's, uh, let's see how the enemy does. So far this faction has been, in, uh, been an interesting challenge. Because you don't have shields, so that means you're tanking directly with your modules. Suppose auto aiming is useful to have turned on if the computer is deciding what and where to shoot. Okay. So let's uh, use the station as uh, part of our uh, armor. And I think I need to put a lot more armor on the backside. It's now a simple, single bombardment that's well targeted can just take out my core. So let's do that first. I thought this was a nice thing to just bolt on top, but maybe we just need to add some bigger things to it. Let's see. Wait, this is uh, a crystalline sliver that needs to be in. Another sliver, uh, another sliver. And, uh, if we make it smaller, we actually have a mounting point again. And this looks like a turret, doesn't it? More of a guns blazing type ship, right? So let's uh, take a summer. Let's actually just take all the missiles off. No more missiles, just guns. Guns, 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 guns. So we actually have enough points to put one of these on. So let's put that on as our forward facing main gun. Like so. Sound pretty darn well. Can even. So that one is not there anymore. So 
rotate this because it th just looks creative. Let's see if we. Oh, right. We can actually shift it in. Ooh. Nice. Like so. Actually, if we take those off, does it fit then? Oh yeah. Uh, we need something to center it. Yeah, that's this part. Ta-da! Very creative, small crystalline structure thing at the front. Let's let's see if we take these small slivers off. We could put another one of these on as a, just a random forward facing armor block. So, this is the, the gun blazing Mark II. This time with more guns. Okay, I do want to have the, the, the big guns as my active guns just because it's fun to shoot. Uh, but they, yeah. And get the guns back on the menu control. Okay. Uh, cursor rotates. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that one flew right into me. Okay, so I have a very long range on these things. So if I just take my distance, I just shoot the hell off. I get close. He has. Heavy duty guns. If I stay at range, he doesn't really have a chance. Because it's just blowing to pieces. So apparently, this is what I needed just more firepower. More firepower is always a good answer. Let's see, let's just start spreading. Spraying that away. So, uh, getting surrounded. And they have way too many ships. Way too many ships. I think I can. Do a lot against that. Oh, by my lonesome. Yeah, thought so. So this is a, a tough nut to, to crack. Long range seems to be useful. Let's see. Uh, what if we make a long range helper ship? So we have. Jeez, that's really, really freaking huge. Uh, let's see. Uh, put one of those up, one of those up. Then we can nestle the core in. Uh, let's see. 13 was the largest booster. Let's just put boosters all over this one as well to get some steering in different directions. And then add some uh, point defense to the corners. And I think we need energy generators, don't we? Yeah, that's probably going to be useful. Luckily, they have the same shape. one block in between then we can actually fit these closer to the center let's uh, add a little bit of armor around it so it's not easy to shoot them off if we do a similar thing here then we can expand these uh, to the side Uh, wait, 
Like, so, one, two, uh, three, and four. And then click a D. So, one huge gun, uh, let's see, we can add a, a defense in the, in the back corner here, like uh, so, and we got 700 points for one huge gun. So, this is a, it's a gunship, literally, it's a gunship. So, let's uh, forget about the puffer fishes, uh, just start building gunships. Need seven other points, but yeah. That's an important interesting. Let's see how that goes. So that's been my mistake so far. I haven't been using the range that my guns afford me. See if we can rectify that. Okay, 700 points, 900 points. Let's see. Almost 1400 points. That means I can build two of the of the gunships. Let's build the first one and build the second one. Just uh, exterminate these weeds here. So the background shooting of them is getting slightly annoying. And of course there's more. Seriously? So my entire armor is intact, so they, they, they have something that pierces the armor. That's the that's the problem. So it's not that I'm not well armored. The problem is that they ignore my armor. It's not like I can build shields or something to do something against it. So I wonder if that's a if that's a bug or something. Okay, stop shooting! Stop shooting! Okay, we're just uh, retreating from here. There's not really a lot to be won. Ooh, Iron Giant! Uh, I'm missing half of my trusters, aren't I? Yes. Right. I see an uh, iron giant without enemies. Without support, I mean. Let's see if we... Okay. Uh, well, getting distracted. Getting s yeah, I still have the firepower. Oh, yeah. Okay, so one on one. This is doable. You are stealing my R, little iron giant. Okay, so my gunboats, they seem to be getting shot to pieces by these laser dudes. Not a cool. Let's see, build 
Så er der nogle små ones. Yes, sjov. Ja, blad du vet. Sorry. Here, have some bullets. You too. Have some bullets. Okay. A large, well, relatively large. It's only thirteen hundred points. the leader of this agent fleet. Let's see, do we have anything left to unlock? No, we don't. So, I think that that's a... Uh, let's see, add a couple more points. Add... What can we add? We have 200 points. So, that means... More boosters. I mean, this thing is slow as hell. Might as well make it a little better to handle. Yes, we can. Uh, let's see, there's no more mounting point for guns. Let's just put some missile launchers on, because we can. Two of the oversized missile launchers. Okay. Agent boss, dude, something. Yep, that one needs to get blown to bits until I find spot another one of his colony. Uh, yeah, spotted. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, a constructor ship. These are okay. There's multiple ships shooting at me. That's not a good thing. Okay. okay, I'm getting completely surrounded here. That's really, really, really not cool. Okay. So this is just a matter of numbers. Can defeat a single ship, but that fleet is just too much, and I don't seem to have the the space to develop an army. Okay, but I think I've, I've kind of seen everything this this faction has to offer. I don't necessarily need to make a huge ship. They have ridiculously cool guns, and they probably at eight thousand points they can put out a huge amount of firepower. But here in the mid game I don't know. It's it doesn't it feels a bit off. But that might also be because I like the, the, the faster ships with, with shields. And this is a totally different uh, playing style. But it was cool to play. But this is the, the end of this uh, series. I might uh, play with another faction uh, in uh, the future. But I think for, for now this has been enough reassembly. So, once again, I thank you for watching. And I will see you in a next episode, in a next series. Bye bye.